So far we have seen the formal statement and the core concept of Boyle's law which says that for a given mass of gas at a constant temperature its volume varies inversely with its pressure. In other words if we double the pressure its volume will be reduced to half. If we triple the pressure the volume will become one third and so on. Though uh, this is nothing ex unexpected, it is interesting to explain it or confirm it or predict it from the molecular point of view. This is part of the kinetic theory of gases. The kinetic theory views a given quantity of gas as a collection of large number of molecules in a continuous state of motion. The basic analysis makes many simplifying assumptions like the molecules being point masses and all collisions of the molecules among themselves and with the container wall as perfectly elastic. Let us see what is perfectly elastic collision in a special context. You might have seen this toy which essentially has a frame from which a few marbles are hanging and they are all in contact. Then one of the marbles is raised like this and let go. As it strikes, the marble on the other side takes off with the same speed. Then again it swings back and the first marble takes off with the same speed and this keeps on going for a while. What we just observed is an example of a perfectly elastic collision. The kinetic energy of the system before the collision and after the collision has remained the same in addition to the momentum being conserved. The two colliding bodies which were identical in mass have simply exchanged their velocities. What was moving has become stationary and what was stationary is now moving with the same speed. The gas molecules collide with each other in pretty much the same way. So suppose we have a container like this containing all these gas molecules shown as little spheres and one of them starts with a velocity u and momentum mu mass into velocity then it will go and collide with the next gas molecule and transfer its momentum to that molecule. Then that molecule continues and transfers momentum to the next one and this keeps on happening like a relay race and here the baton is nothing but the momentum and these gas molecules keep colliding with one face of the container and the other periodically. This generates pressure on the container wall. Based on this let us derive the expression for pressure in these two cases. Here we have two containers with the same cross-sectional area containing the same mass of gas at the at identical temperature. The only difference is one container's length is L and the other's length is L by 2. So cross-sectional areas are both A. The length of this container is L, length of this container is L by 2. So the volume here will be AL, volume here will be AL upon 2, half the volume. A molecule of the same mass M is contained in both of them moving with the same speed u and therefore it will have identical momentum both of them m into u then it collides with the wall and it bounces back with the same speed so its momentum will become minus mu and the change in its momentum will be final minus mu minus initial mu will be minus 2 mu an equal but opposite momentum will be transferred to the wall so this is the momentum transferred to the wall plus 2 mu and uh, between two successive collisions the time uh, or the distance covered by the molecules in this case from here to here and back is 2 L well in this model in this case it will be L by 2 and L by 2 will be just L since this distance is covered with the same speed u we can get the time as 2L upon u here and L upon 2 and you can see the time taken here 
between two successive collisions is half and therefore the rate of change of momentum which is defined as force by Newton's law over here will be twice so this twice the force is acting on the same area and therefore it will produce double the pressure so here we reduced the volume to half and the pressure got doubled something predicted by Boyle's law.